Dave Selleck, writer and director of Coraline, and this is the deleted scenes section of the DVD extras. You would hope that every single frame that you shoot for an animated film, especially stop motion, which is so painstakingly handcrafted and brought to life, would end up in the final film. But it just doesn't work that way. Despite all your planning, when you put the whole film together, you discover something's a little slow, something's a little long, the story isn't quite clear, and you end up having to shift things around and cut things. Luckily, in DVD, they get to live on, and you get to see the things that just didn't quite make it into the final cut of the movie. I hope you enjoy that. This is a portion of a scene that we had to cut out, where a real dad is making one of his disgusting dinners to Coraline. What's cut here is beautifully animated. We have a casserole in the oven where we move little plastic bubbles through the casserole to make it look like it's boiling. We have dads who are dancing around and singing a nonsense song to Coraline. Great stuff, didn't work in the film, but you get to see here. Oh, my twitchy witchy girl, I think you are so nice. Charlie, I told you to get a laptop. They giving them away now? My computer's fine, just a bang power outage from the storm. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't back up your files. Actually, I can. Oh, the spell checker's gone today, too. Maybe I have a virus. I think dinner might have a virus. Oh, my twitchy witchy girl, I think you are so nice. This scene, which I've nicknamed Coraline and the Buggy Roses, <laughs> was very painful to cut. It was completely finished. There's beautiful details like these buggy roses, which she flops on the table to present to her mom. There's a weird little bug she notices that she flips through the air. It splashes in mom's coffee cup. But ultimately, we need to get Coraline to the other world. And in making things move along, this scene ended up having to be cut. Coraline, you're dripping all over the floor. What do you think, Mom? You can put them in the new catalog. Right. I really miss Michigan. You've already made a friend. Whitey, he's too psycho to be friends with. I'm sure you'll meet some great kids when you start school here. And, um, her stink bumps on my uniform. Are you kidding me?
fine, fine thing you did for us, Lou. Well, I'm glad it's finally over. It is over and done <laughs> for us. What about me? You're in terrible danger, girl. The bell dam lives yet, and she needs to take your life. But how? I locked the door. It's the key, Lou. As long as the key is found, the children will find it. <laughs> it's not fair. It ain't all bad. Thou art alive. Thou art still living. Here's the complete version of Ribbon Maze, animated by just one animator in the anime, and it took 66 days to animate. Probably it's the longest shot of any in the entire film. <laughs> this is a moment where Coraline is meant to dream of these mice that come into her dream and they were going to sort of sing to her and then disappear. And in shifting sequences around in the film, that dream disappeared. We went right to Coraline going to the other world the first time she goes to bed. So this is something I totally love. And in fact, it's at the very end of the end credits of the film, but I'm worried that some people won't stay to see the very end of the end credits. So I wanted to put it here in the extras this is all hand animated the rigs that are also animated by hand that support these flat ribbon mice moving through the air are here anyway i think it's eerie and beautiful and unique you might not have ever seen anything quite like this done in stop motion montage from the cutting room floor. Actually, there's no cutting room floor or there's no film on the floor in this film because we shot it all digitally. But these are shot beautifully animated. They had to go. They were slowing the movie down. They were overstating something. They just weren't helping the movie move along at the pace it needs to be. Either way, we lost three days, and we're barely going to make deadline now. Knock their socks right out of the ballpark. 